Dad are on the phone arguing with Grandma Farah. Oh no, about what? I don't like when people argue. Why do people have to fight? Harlia, relax. Oh my goodness, you don't have to get so emotional about it. Avaya, you know Mom always says finding a good way to express your emotions helps us have better relationships. Don't condemn me. Help me, sis. You're the big sister, though. Why do I have to help you? Je Listen, Mom, I should not have to keep explaining this. Oh, snap. Daddy never yells. It must be serious. <sighs> oh my goodness, Harlia. I don't like conflict. Well, you wanted help, so here's a tip. Mom also says conflict is a necessary part of life. It's how you handle it, and you're not- Knock, knock. We're coming in. Oh, hey, Mom and Dad. Hi, lovely parents. Hey, Ivaya. What's up, Harley girl? You seem nervous. You must have heard me and Dad talking to Grandma Farah, huh? Talking? Mom, that did not sound like talking. It sounded like arguing, and I don't like conflict. And Avaya doesn't understand because she does. Wow. Really? So that's what we're doing? Really mature, big sis. Because Avaya, you- Oh, whoa. No, that's enough. I don't know if that telephone conversation was a portal for the enemy to enter in, and release confusion up in here, but we don't even speak to each other like that in this home. So it ends now. Yes, mom. Yes, your mother is right. And it is enough. Your grandmother is upset enough for the whole family, plus the ones on the block. And she's on the way over here to make sure we all know it too. That's negative energy. And I love Grandma Farah, but I don't want to be part of the conversation if it means arguing. I mean, daddy raised his voice. He never does that. So it's serious and I don't like it. I need my peace and I need a home with peace. We do have peace. I bind any weapon trying to come this way against us with confusion. Our home will be one of the most highest peace. Hallelujah. Peace does not always mean the absence of conflict either. So we about to practice. Oh, I'd rather leave. Can I leave and go to Auntie Yana's? Nope, you will need to be a part of the conversation because it actually involves you. Me? Yup. Us, you, Avaya, Yakin, and the twins. Did somebody say my name? Hey, Ken, what are you doing popping up? We sure did say your name. Yeah, because you have to be here for Grandma Farrah to come over and fight with Mom and Dad. Up, I don't do no fight. Time to go. <laughs> Me either. I'm leaving too. Harlia, no. Y'all does not like cowardly behavior. But y'all kin left, and doesn't y'all hate Discord too? Absolutely. Well, that's what this is, Mom. What's the difference? Yeah, how do you know which one you're supposed to do? Well, let's all go sit in the living room. I don't want to leave the twins unsupervised for too long. So, to walk in courage or to flee discord, sometimes it can take courage to do both. And me and your mother know that firsthand since y'all opened our eyes to deeper truths we weren't able to see before. Yep, and depending on the circumstance, of course, choosing whether to walk in courage or flee discord often makes the difference between faith and fear. Huh? Yeah, I don't understand. Well, you know faith equals courage, and fear equals cowardice, and that Yah gives us courage, but never the spirit of fear. That's right. So if you run away from home just so you don't have to deal with Grandma Farah's upset, are you walking in courage? I'd rather flee discord, and I can admit that. 
because I just don't like conflict, and I thought that was a good thing. How? How can you walk upright if you're running? <laughs> yeah, you like how I did that. You see it. Connect the dots. Dad! I'm just trying to lighten the mood. It's getting intense. But go ahead, Queen. Okay, so what about if you stay and confront with the support of your family? I know, that's practicing courage. Yeah, it is, but I still don't understand. Often, emotions like fear, shame, or guilt make you want to run like Adam and Kua did in the garden. They ran away. Yes, Mom, but I'm running away from sin like they should have. What sin? Conflict. Who said conflict was a sin? Oh, it isn't? I thought it was. Because you know how it kind of brings that confusion you were just talking about? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, no, definitely not. All right, then. Unhealthy conflict creates an atmosphere and can be a breeding ground for sin. But healthy conflict can create an opportunity for us to come face to face and work out our differences. Hmm. Just depends on the people and the behaviors that show up with them to the conversation. Word. I see. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Yeah, me too. So, is it kind of like, you know, whether to walk in courage versus flee discord based on the behaviors of the people involved? Kind of, because sometimes, initially, y'all will still have us confront certain behaviors we deem unhealthy. It's when those behaviors become consistent and toxic that it's time to flee the spirit of discord that comes with it. Yup, flee it like a flea market. Dad! No, but seriously, we've had a conversation with your grandma, Farah, about y'all calling us higher. She just doesn't understand how that means we won't be attending the big dinner and Easter egg hunt she prepares every year to celebrate Easter. And you know she wants her grandchildren there. You mean Grandma Farah really doesn't see that Easter celebrations are nowhere in y'all's word? Even with all the eggs and the Easter bunny stuff? Actually, she does see the absence of those practices in the scriptures. It's just a tradition for her, and a really hard one because she's been having this dinner for over 20 years now. I don't think she knows what life would be without that tradition. Wait, don't they mention that in the word, though? Something about traditions? And he said unto them, Oh, well, you reject the commandment of Elohim, that you may guard your own tradition. Marcus 7, 9. Good, princess. It sure does. Look at you storing up that word in your heart. That's how the Ruach HaKodesh can bring it back to your memory when you need it. And that word is there to remind us that we should never let go of Yah's ways to hold on to a tradition of men. But Grandma Fair is doing that. Yah didn't tell us to celebrate Easter. That's a different version of what Yah says to keep. You're right, Avaya. That's true. And she goes to church every Sunday and to Bible study on the weekdays. She never misses either for nobody and no one. So what's the point of doing all that? Yeah, she knows and sees no Easter bunny and no Easter eggs and no Easter traditions in the actual Bible. Why would she still go to church and Bible study knowing she won't obey what Yah says about it? Well, that's her. You can ask her for yourself. Let's get ready to rumble. King, I'm joking. I'm joking. You both get to practice healthy conflict, at least if your grandma Farah's behaviors align with the spirit of the most high she says she trusts and believes in. Better day, better day. Better day, better day. It's that better day. Show. Better day. This is what we pray for. What he say, so this is what we made for. The better day show is on right now. Right now. Cause we about to show you how it's better now. Now isn't it obvious why it's called the better day show? Hi, I'm Ever, animator of the Better Day Show. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to see the next episode. Thanks for watching! <laughs>